Hi, I'm Ellie from crystallinks.com. Today is Monday, December 13th, 2021, and I'm here to talk about COVID, wearing masks, and the latest in New York State, because I live in Brooklyn. Um, there's a new uh, vaccine mandate that went into place today. It has to do with wearing a mask when you're in indoor public spaces, which is something that most of us in Brooklyn, where I live, have continued to do anyway. You know, I mean, we went into different stores and places and some people wore their masks, some people didn't, some people saw no one was wearing them, they took them off. It, it, this is one of those types of experiences in our lives where we just don't know what outcomes will be, who will get sick, who will not, who should take a vaccine, who shouldn't, what's safe, what's not safe. And I'm not here to discuss that because I don't have answers that even doctors don't have. Uh, personally, I took Johnson & Johnson vaccine. I took it in March and then I took it last week in December of 2021 and um, I had no reaction. I had nothing wrong with me. I just felt that that was the way to go. So that's what I'm doing. But of course it could have to do with my age also. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna be 79. So they say that seniors have to be a little more careful with COVID. You know, nobody really knows. When I talk to doctors and when I talk to nurses and when I talk to all kinds of people who work in the field, they don't really know. They hope for the best. They do everything they can to help the people who, you know, to prevent COVID and, and the spread of it. And that's all they can do. That's all anybody can do. That's all you can do. Okay, so now we they are preparing for a possible surge in COVID this winter. I don't know whether it's a fourth surge or they just keep adding numbers. It doesn't really matter to me. You know, it's just it's good to be protected. It's, I'm a planner and it's nice to be protected. Uh, then there's flu. I, I don't get sick. I have nothing wrong with me. I have never gotten sick. Maybe when I was very young, I got sick and I've been very lucky. I don't take flu shots. I don't get flu. But then again, in recent years, because of my age, I spend more time out of the public and out of groups of people, which is where I think you get COVID within the groups. The, the odds raise astronomically if you're in a group of people anywhere, in a theater, in, in a school, in a mall, whatever. Um, now, this is my take on the masks, okay? So I had made myself a few notes and, all right. There are physical and emotional challenges to wearing a mask. Some people hate them. You've read about them. Some people won't wear them. Some people will wear them. Some people insist they do not protect you. Some say certain masks protect more than others. I don't know. I really, I don't think they have the statistics. I don't think they really know what's going on. Um, I wear, this is my mask. Okay. I started off with those little blue ones that everybody had, the PPP, I think it's called. I don't know. The, the ones that everybody has. And, and I wore during the summer because they're thin. And I wore them indoors. I didn't wear them in the street. This is my basic favorite mask. I bought a pack of them from Amazon. It was very inexpensive. I wear one when I go out. I go home, throw it in the wash, hot dryer, and I feel it's fine. It's easy to slip on. Da -da, da -da, da -da. And there you go. Now, see these dangly little earring things? Okay. When I wear a mask outside, I don't wear earrings. I just love all my earrings too much. I don't want to lose one. I don't want to come home and say, oh, no, what happened to it? So when I go out, I know I'm going to wear a mask, even if it's off in the street and on in a store or a restaurant or whatever. So I just let the earrings go. Okay, it's, it's really, it, that's up to you, of course, if you're a girl and even some guys, I think they're still wearing earrings, so not so much in New York. Now, with wearing the mask, this is a very interesting story. We all wore masks most of last year, which was 2020. And there were new people you met along the line, maybe new people in stores, new people near your neighbors, you know, there's all kinds of new people who may have crossed your life. And they were messed up, depending how high and depending how serious they wanted to go with this. And what's interesting is two things about wearing the mask. People tell me 
it's hard to hear when someone is wearing a mask. Of course, that could have to do with hearing loss. It could have to do with accents. Some people are talking. It's difficult alone to hear them when they have the mask on. And if they have an accent from a foreign country or whatever, it makes it more difficult to understand what they're trying to convey to you. Uh, I also noticed that when you talk to people, whether you know it or not, a lot of people are reading lips. They don't know it, not because they have a lot of hearing loss. It's just something they just do. They just look at you and and you may be saying, gee, today is a nice day for December. They say it could go up to 60 degrees. Wow, you know, when you're talking about the weather or whatever you're talking about, but people can't necessarily hear through the masks or they are reading your lips while they're standing there talking to you. And you may be one of these people, I don't know. I know people in my age group, a lot of people I know have hearing aids. A lot of people need hearing aids and they don't get them, but that's another thing about mask wearing, okay? So you just have to be very careful about that. Um, then there's something else that I was discussing with my neighbor, Jonathan. There, um, we're about, 15 or 20 apartments on the floor in my building. And a man moved in last year, last summer. His name is Alex. And every time I, we met by the elevator in the lobby in the laundry room, wherever we met in what's called the common areas of the building, we were both wearing masks, okay? And then along came the spring and little by little by little, you know, the mask mandates became less and less and people were not wearing masks like they used to. And then one day I was walking to the elevator and a man was standing there and I look at him like, I know him. And he says, hi, Ellie. And I'm like, are you Alex? Alex, is that you? <laughs> because I had never seen Alex without his mask. And yes, these masks can make you itchy. It can make your skin itchy. It can make your nose itchy, other issues for another time. But right now, I asked Alex, you know, is that you? And he said it was. And then we both laughed about it because even people in stores now, the, the workers in the local stores, the supermarkets, they take off their masks. And unless I knew them from before or I shopped the store before when I saw what they look, I don't recognize them as well as I should. Um, it happens all the time. It can happen in the workplace. It doesn't have to, have to happen it, with your neighbors. It can happen anywhere. But it's kind of one of those little quirky things. It's like, okay, the vaccines were out. Some people took them. Some people didn't. Everyone had their opinions. Some people fought about it. Some people just complied because the reason I did it, honestly, was because I wanted to be with my family I wanted to hug the grandkids. I wanted to be with family. I wanted to be with friends. I wanted to be able to have clients come back here discerningly, you know, to have a reading. And, and I felt that it was important that I get vaccinated. Now I'm looking at it, the perspective of an older person. And originally they thought seniors get it, young people don't, that well, none of that turned out to be true. None of what they originally thought about COVID and the vaccines turned out to be true. Uh, it's all experimental. Okay, so I took the vaccine though, knowing I wouldn't have side effects. I think I just have this high immune system or whatever. I don't know. I really don't know. And I'm careful, but I took the vaccine because I really wanted to be able to be with other people and talk to other people. And you'd be surprised when you're isolated, how much you miss that has to do with that. You know, the occasional, I'm not one who eats out much in restaurants, but even the occasional restaurant, like in the summer where the restaurant is basically outside, which is very common now in New York, which is great. You know, it's, it's just something to do. Um, being vaccinated, as you know, does not mean you're not going to get COVID. It means you can get a lighter case of COVID. Uh, and then we have the flu. So here we are. Final thing on wearing a mask. You wear it right now in the winter in New York where it's going to be very warm this month, but then it'll get cold. We know that. We'll have a blizzard or two. We know that. But wearing a mask, I feel, also protects me not just from COVID, but from flu, the common cold, 
whatever people have that they might do a little sneeze or a little cough or a little something that why do you need to bring that home? You know, why do you need to deal with illness? The masks have become commonplace. What's not commonplace anymore, of course, nobody wears those gloves anymore because that's not how it's transmitted as they found out later, it's airborne. But um, the standing six feet apart thing in the stores and whatever, people don't do that. They just go back to the way that used to be, but that may change. We are in the dark when it comes to this. We are just experimenting. We're experimenting with how we deal with COVID, what it's about, I have blogged this over and over again, and I'm going to close on this, but COVID is an end time pandemic. The original COVID, as we experienced it, let's say into the beginning of this year, it's into the end of last year, I'm sorry, into November of last year is gone. And then we had Delta, Delta Plus, something called Mu, M-U, however you pronounce that. Now, Omicron, I've given my thoughts on to where these all come from and why they're here. I just know that they're here as part of an end time scenario as this simulation that we call our reality is coming to a close. Um, it will continue to mutate. It's like saying climate change is going to end. We're, we had a bad series of tornadoes last weekend, this past weekend. And, and okay, that's a, a once in a lifetime thing that they'll be that bad. No, don't, you know, I'm here. I consider myself like a reality check psychic and a reality check person. This is the reality of what's going on. Some things you can plan for, some things are preventable and other things are not. And you just have to go with the flow. You have to be prepared in any way you can for yourself and your family. And there's not much we can do. This planet is not a happy place to live in, but closing of a simulation generally is not. Um, but all I can tell you with the masks is if they're not required in your area, then I guess you don't have to wear them. Uh, we know there's all kinds of governors with all kinds of thoughts on this. I'm not going to say which governor is for or against because the government is so broken that, that the things that they say and they do is a topic for another day. It's just boggles the mind. But for today, Get a couple of masks on Amazon or in your local store. I put a picture on my blog today about, you know, wearing the masks now. And it's a picture of a mask with New York City. There's patterns out there. There's Christmas patterns out there. The snowflake, pa there's patterns about everything. And then there's the creative people who are making their own masks. So do whatever is comfortable. This particular mask, I don't even know what company. This is two ply, okay? But... Some people wear two masks. The lady who gave me the um, second Johnson & Johnson, she was wearing two masks, the blue one, the paper one, and then she had a cloth one on top. You got to go by your instincts. This is a time where you're learning to trust your instincts. So on that note, I wish you a healthy and a happy Christmas and holiday and into 2020, 2022, and just... What we can do is the best we can do. And on that note, I leave you with stay healthy and stay safe. And thank you so much for listening.